can't have the name. All right, hey guys, thanks for joining us again. This is uh, Leontes here with LK404. Hey, LK404 here. Doing more videos for Cotex, Codex, <laughs> Codex. <laughs> Codex, uh, card time strategy uh, game we have on Kickstarter right now. This is the uh, the core set. Um, actually, this is the red faction versus the green faction, the blood anarchs versus the moss sentinels. Um, so I'm on the right there, uh, playing with my signature Midori, um, Midori Kalamandra, Argagarg are the heroes for that side, and I am on the left, uh, playing as. Uh, Zane and Jaina and Drac, uh, which is kind of funny considering my history with Zane. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's trying to, you know, try something new here. Yep. So I think we're still deciding who's going to go first. Um, but this is the uh, the three versus three hero mode of the game. This is like the the real mode, I guess you'd say, the real tournament um, competitive mode. Um, so now we have three heroes in the command zone instead of just the one like we did in the starter set. And that means that we're going to have a lot more options um, as far as hero selection goes. It also means that our codex is now three times as large in terms of what we could take. So um, lots of decisions. Yeah. And so looking at the uh, the green side of things, I have balance, feral, and growth as my three like tech lines. You can see the little the green uh, cards there underneath Midori and above my my worker. Um, that means that I have access to. All of Argagarg's cards, all of Kalamandra's cards, and all of Midori's cards in my green codex um, that I can then draft stuff from during the game. So just lots and lots of tools. However, note that there is a hero limit. When you first start the game, you can only have one hero in play. So uh, it's not like you're going to start the game and just bust out all three heroes and go to town. Yeah, you end up with... Uh, at. At tech one, or when you just have your base, you can have one hero. At tech two, you can have two heroes out. At tech three, you can have three. Um, this is the game started. So Red's going with a little bit of an aggro strat. It's playing a uh, makeshift Rambaster. Who gets plus two attack when he attacks a building. So that's three damage to base first turn. Yeah, straight up 17 already. Um, made a worker, made a Rambaster, floated one gold, drew five cards, and he's going to go into his codex to tech. Um, so for me, I make a worker. Maybe I do tech one right now too. I play a uh, Iron Bark Treant. It's a three gold guy. Um, you may have seen him in the tutorial video. Was he one yeah, of the units? He's, yeah, he's in the tutorial video. Yeah, so he's a uh, he's a three two, um, but when he's in the patrol zone, he's actually a uh, he, he well, like a one five basically in that kind spot. of. But he has armor, so like yeah, so he's a one four uh, one two with two armor, and then he gets an extra armor from the uh, squad leader slot. Yeah, so it's very difficult for a red to bust through a, a really big iron bark treant. But also, I can attack with him, and he has three attack if I just swing. So he's, he's a really versatile unit. He's like a wall until you need him to not be a wall. Also, notice that you normally wouldn't build your tech building until next turn, but he doesn't want to float a gold because he's worried I'm going to play pillage and steal his gold. Yes, and it's a uh, it's a red spell in the starter deck where you pay one, and then you attack the you hit the base for one, and then you steal one gold from the opponent. If you have a pirate in play, you Double it. You do two damage to base, steal and two. Steal two. Yeah. So you don't want to. You don't want to float gold against red. That's. Um, I, I may. I may make that mistake at some point during this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So, <laughs> buying the tech one early just to use up the gold. Yep. And uh, no heroes on the table yet, so we still have a lot of options. Red has. Uh, Zane has haste as a hero. He's the only character that has that. Um, so that's a decent like, early turn dude to just put pressure on the opponent. Um, Jaina, the fire line, is about um, burn spells, like directly targeting things um, and destroying buildings with just like spells and you tap Jaina, do damage to stuff. Um, Drac is about granting frenzy and haste to his units and playing some obnoxious spells. You might see a couple of those. Um, but you play a Blood Rage Ogre here, right? Let's see. Yeah, Blood Rage Ogre, 3-2. He's a 3-2. He's 3-2 a um, for 2. Good stats. Yeah, really good stats. But he basically has to attack every turn. Yeah, so attack or patrol every turn or... Uh, no, it's uh, if if you... If arrives or attacks. Oh, arrives or, or attacks. Yeah, That's right. if he didn't arrive or attack, you put him back in your hand. So that's most of the time. This means that he's, he swings every turn. Uh, attack one building, worker... Two gold floated, so... Two gold floated, no hero. Yeah, leaving the, the option open. Because no, notably, um, in the starter set, you have uh, neutral magic spells in the starting deck, but then you have, like, River has her finesse spells, and those, those are the only spells you have access to. But in the three-hero game, because you have the spells for Zane, spells for 
for uh, Drac and spells for Jaina. It's possible that you tech one spell like, of each type, or, or like w- one spell for one hero, one spell for another hero, and then you can hedge your bets later on yeah, and draw like, what you teched. Like Zane might do a surprise attack, and a, he might do like a surprise attack from Zane's line, and then a... Uh, Ember Sparks from Jaina's line. Yeah, and then whichever hero he gets, he can then play that. So on my side, I played Rich Earth, which is an upgrade card. So that one is, it just kind of stays in play. It's like, uh, I guess you'd say it's like, like an enchantment, right? Um, and it means that my workers are free now. So I don't pay the one gold for worker like you normally do. Um, and that's like forever unless uh, red trashes it from somehow. So it's almost like another worker because it gives you plus one gold every turn for the rest of the game. Yeah, much pretty, like an extra clean. worker does. Um, so Argagarg um, comes out. And uh, that little growth uh, tech card that I put there is a wisp. He has a thing. He arrives, you know, gain a wisp. It's a zero one unit. I don't have a token for that. Stretch goals, guys. Uh, if you get that up, we might get some cool wisp cards. Yeah, you guys better hit those stretch goals. We need we need token <laughs> cards. Look, look at how sad we are using the uh, the, the tech cards as wisps. Indeed. Or I, I could have I could have drawn some index cards like I, I did before, but I didn't really feel like doing that. So um, as far as combat goes, I, I attacked the blood rage ogre with my iron bark treant, and they both died. Um, and then I put a tiger cub into play. That's a a two gold two two. Very simple. It's a plane unit. Um, that may matter more a little bit later if we see Midori come out. And then I just shuffle and draw. So right now I'm kind of doing like a stally thing. Like I want to I want to put tokens, like the Wisp tokens, in my patrol zone and block up a bit. Let Rich Earth give me a little bit of natural economy. Um, Argagarg is just kind of a stally build-up hero. It's growth. That's his, that's his tech line. And so Red still hasn't really made any huge decisions yet. Yeah, red is still very much. I'm still very much keeping my options open. It looks like I have two taxmen in my hand though, so I might just drop two gunpoint taxmen, patrol up. Let's see if you do that. It sounds it sounds right. Yeah, it's a, only two cost for three three anti air. Um, also, if it kills a patroller, I get a gold, which is a big deal. Uh, well, steal a gold. They have to float gold. Yeah. So. It- more incentivizes me to make sure that I keep my, yeah. my gold flying. Spend your gold. Yep. Maybe in inefficient ways. Um, and that's important. So. so let's see. Yeah, I think I see taxman in your hand. I see. I, I think I see two taxmen in my hand. You have nine gold. I think there's no reason you don't do that. Counting it out. Oh, am I am I counting out a like hero and a hero in charge? Oh, is this your? I might be counting out hero in charge. Yeah. So that I can uh, haste a tax man. That's right. Okay, so he brings out Zane. He brings out Zane. Zane is a haste 2-2. Two, two. Yep. Plays tax man. Gunpoint tax man. Yeah. It plays the charge. So charge is uh, one of your units gets plus one attack and has haste this turn. Um, so Gunpoint tax man is a 4-3 this turn with haste. Yes. Let's see. So the so the Rambaster can get through uh, the Wisps. Oh, yeah, there we go. Zane. So Zane trades. No, he doesn't. Zane is a 3-3 three, three oh, and takes two at, damage. So you put him at mid-band. So put him at mid-band, and then Rambaster does that. Um, yeah, so he paid some gold to make Zane uh, middle level, and so that makes him a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Zane takes two damage, but the Taxman is about to kill Arg, which... Uh, yeah, four damage on uh, on the Argagarg kills him. So R goes to the command zone, dies, uh, levels up Zane some more. So Zane goes to level five. This is a good start. And Zane should have two damage on him. Yeah, he'll he'll probably. Yeah. Well, no, he doesn't, because you killed. Oh no no no! Yeah, I think he maybe he should. Or did you level? No, I don't remember. I think I think this works out in the end. I think you okay. I think you played it. I think you do it correctly. So my board is wiped. That's a red thing. Um, just, okay, I don't have much stuff, but here comes a bunch of haste at you, and I just blow your board up. Yep. Very typical red plays. But we'll see if so, I can answer this. Also, notice that uh, Zane's mid-band lets me draw a card when I kill a technician, and I get a gold when I kill a scavenger. And so, it, even though I played two cards, I don't go down to four. I drew a card for killing the uh, technician wisp. Exactly. And so I get to stay at five cards. And so I play a centaur, which is a really good unit. So three gold. It's a three, four. You really like those tech one, three, fours. With the, yeah, with the overpower. <laughs> it's 
So Iron Man to Centaur. Centaur is just like better than Iron Man. Um, yeah, Overpower is a, is a good ability. It's uh, You do your attack damage to a patroller or whoever you can, and then you get to do your excess damage, the excess to, damage to exactly one other thing that you could attack. All right, so you play Young Triant. This is an interesting card. It's a it's two gold. It's a zero two, so it's not. It can't even attack. Like it says printed on the card, can't attack. But when you play it, you draw a card. So he's like a little blocker, little staller kind of thing. Play worker for free. Yeah. Um, play him, draw a card, put him in technician, draw another card. Yeah, totally. I put him in elite spot there because I want him to actually do a damage. Like, because he he'll, he'll get the plus one attack. So if he's defending, he'll be a one two, and that's okay. Attack Might get some some damage on there. Um, let's see. I play Calamandra. Um, she's a 2-3 at top band. Mostly just because I'm, I'm probably more interested in Argark at this point. Zane's almost maxed out, so I don't really care if I lose Calamandra. But what's notable is that I play her from the command zone and not from my hand. And if you remember, um, at the end of the turn, you discard your hand, and you draw two more cards than you discarded. So playing heroes is like a card-free way to get guys on the board and protect your stuff without going down on cards. So I, I do that just because um, I'm although, waiting for Ark to come back. Although if I manage to kill Kalamandra, I'll max level Zane for free. Yeah, and that, that's kind of okay. You're, you're already almost there. I think that was why I did that. I, I need the, the Technician card. Pank Scorch. Scorch. Deals two damage. Uh, one gets absorbed by the armor and takes three real damage. Or it takes one real damage. Yeah, the Taxman kills, and I had no gold. Yep, no gold to steal. To steal, which is good. <laughs> So Rambaster will run into, uh, yeah, they trade. Yeah, they, they just deal yeah, one they, each. They're, yeah, they're fine. Uh, he's maxed out already. Oh, no, now he maxes out. And then Zane will attack the uh, Kalamandra, right? Oh, man. That's so I think so, yeah. No yeah. damage. Yeah, I think there was a math thing that we did correctly before that healed him. I think that's why he's he's fine. Okay. So he took damage, then he leveled up, and now he's max, he's max health again. So Zane is maxed out. He gains an ability there where he can tap. And he puts a bomb in a patrol zone spot, and if I uh, if I put a patroller there, they'll take three damage immediately, and the bomb goes off. So that's yep. pretty annoying. I can, I think you end up you might end up doing that this game and locking out one of my patrol slots. Yeah, uh, underused uh, max band ability. Yeah, because mostly because Zane has haste. Most of the time, you want to just drop him and attack with him. Yeah, and so you don't get to use the tap ability that much. Yep. So Arg is alive. Um, we're ready to come back. Midori hasn't been played yet. Um, I still have a young Triant with one health. I have rich earth in play, so my workers are free. Um, I'm at eight workers this turn, so I could make my tech two building. If oh, I'm, I'm, so I'm changing my uh, changing my worker. Okay. Right on. Okay. So, and you're playing. Oh, Nautical Dog. Block it up with Nautical Dog. Nautical Dog. Yeah, he's a simple guy. This is one mana, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, costs one gold. He has frenzy one, one one. Yeah. So when he attacks, he gets he gets two damage. Yep. He's a pretty high value unit. Like, one gold is good for a guy that you can buff a bunch, and he just does a bunch of damage. Like for his cost, he's really efficient. Yeah. Uh, fun little trivia. The original tutorial had uh, nautical uh, instead of casting scorch, uh, Jaina cast uh, played nautical dog and cast charge on nautical dog to deal three damage. Nice. So um. I'm scared, so I'm just gonna play a bunch of guys. I play a Ironbark Triant from before. That's the uh, the patroller that gets armor when he's in the patrol zone. So that's like a one five in the front there. Um, my Centaur becomes a uh, he's in the elite slot. That's the second one with the plus one attack. He's a four four now. The Huntress is a new card. Um, that's two gold for a three three. Three three anti air, not unlike the Taxman. Yeah, anti air, and he has, she has Spark Shot too. Spark shot is the thing where I can hit something and then uh, deal one damage to an adjacent patrol slot. And so I put her in technician and I just I just block up like crazy. I need the uh, centaur to be able to do four damage because Zane has four health. Yeah, reshuffles are coming super fast because you just lost two centaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I got one back. Yep. So let's see. And that was my turn. I draw. Yeah, I just block up and try to survive the the onslaught from red. And I have no hero out yet. Oh, am I taking that back? Oh, no. yeah. I, I don't want a technician because I'm okay on cards. And I don't want Zane to kill the technician and get an extra card. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're going to give me the card. Okay, so what I did there instead was I didn't want a scavenger. Because I didn't want you to steal gold from me. 
you have a uh, you've been playing lots of gunpoint taxman and i don't want you to kill, kill scavenger. it and then steal the scavenger gold. yeah kill it kill the scavenger it puts a gold in my pile then you play a thing that steals that gold um that would be bad so i, I wanted to draw cards and my gold seems okay right now Gunpoint Taxman. There he is. We charging him again. We char yeah, I was right. So, yeah. Good reads. Um, and he still has to do five damage to get through that Iron Bark Triant. But he won't He won't die. Um, he'll, no, he only takes one. Yeah, he'll just take one. The, the Taxman takes one. Yeah, Taxman takes one, and then Rambaster dies. Rambaster does the final hit point of damage. Um, squad lead down. So then Knuckle Dog kills the... Yeah, kills that... Zane Zane's side draws a card because Zane's mid band does that. So we both draw cards for my technician death. I think this might be where you tap the uh, the Zane to put the bomb in the squad lead. Because I don't think you want to attack into that centaur. And that would be the time that you use that. When Zane doesn't want to attack, you just want to like put a bomb down. Even if I put a bomb down, I still need to patrol up though. So true. Let's see what happens. Yeah, five gold. Yeah, come on, play another unit. Let's see what we got. Another gunpoint taxman. Excellent. And this is, yeah, you put a bomb in yeah. the squad lead. Bomb in the squad lead spot. So yep. putting a unit in that squad lead spot takes three damage. I see your hand is two ember sparks, which means that... it's a, I think it's a scorch in an ember sparks. I see. So I guess what you could have done this turn also is you could have ran Zane into, uh, into the centaur and suicided him. And then summoned Jaina and played a spell. But you did a different thing. Yep, because the, the 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 cards he's holding in his hand right now are Jaina's specific fire spells, but he still has Zane out, and you can only have one hero out at a time. This is where you build a hero's hall though, because you're like, okay, now I can, ha yeah. And so a hero's hall is an add-on. It's two gold, and it lets you have an extra hero out. So at tech one or base, or tech tech one or tech zero, you can have two heroes out. At tech two, you can have all three. So he wants to play a more multi-hero um, style here, and I noticed that. So. I'm starting to worry about spells, and I know that I have to deal with your heroes before they become a huge problem. You only play heroes all after taking spells. I, I, maybe, maybe not. So here comes my boy Midori. Um, he's an interesting guy. Um, he's a two three at when he comes out at level one. Um, at the mid band, which I believe is level five, he has this really interesting ability where all the units that you have that have no, no abilities. abilities. They get plus two, plus two, and they cost one less to play. So that Tiger Cub I played earlier, that was a two gold for a two two. That becomes a four four for one gold. Um, the Wisps that Argagarg summons, that are zero one tokens, they become two threes. Like there's lots of value you can get from Midori. Um, and that's just the mid band. But his maximum ability is that on my turn, he becomes a flyer. And this is what's really dangerous about him is that I can. Uh, he's also a four or five at that point. Um, what did I do? I put a, uh, I think rampant I put a, growth. I put a rampant growth. So rampant growth is a spell that gives a unit plus two attack and plus two armor for a turn. So the centaur will do enough damage to kill. And it'll uh, splash one damage onto something else that it could attack. So yeah. it kills nautical dog. Yeah. The overpower brings the nautical dog and hurts it. That's, that's interesting. Instead of, uh, instead of pegging one onto Zane and then attacking Zane with Huntress to close him out. Yeah. I could have done that. Um, but I, play, I, I attack. Oh, you forced favor on... Uh, so you put a plus one, plus one rune on Huntress yes. to, uh, to kill Zane that way. Yeah. So now, yeah. Oh, favor. killing the taxman. No, I play I play Circle of Life here. Oh. So, okay. So then I play Circle of Life. This is a really cool card. It's a Midori spell. And it's um you sacrifice a green unit and then you put a unit into play that's one tech level higher. And so I grab a tech two. I don't even have a tech two building. But I grab a Wandering Mimic. And this is a really cool card. It's... It copies the uh, certain keywords that are in the uh, in the game, like haste and, and spark shot, and there's a couple other ones. I won't get into it. But the key thing is Zane has haste, and that means that Wandering Mimic now has haste, and I can play it and then immediately attack Zane with it, and it's a four four, and they trade, and I get the kill. This levels Midori two times, so he goes to level three. So that was a play where I was able to do some fun stuff and blow up all of Red's board now. So now we've. <laughs> We've, uh, we've board cleared each other. Yeah. And Midori is a little bit closer to that really tough to deal with um, flying Midori. Although Midori is still only a 2-3. He's not getting an extra armor. He's not getting an extra attack. And yeah. I almost expect him to die. That's why I put him in the, uh, the technician slot. So I can at least get value out of his death. And we'll see if he does die. But yeah, the, uh, the thing about Midori Maxman, though, he becomes a 4-5 
and he can fly. And that's dangerous because if I give him a plus one, plus one rune from a forest favor or any other way, he, he gets five attack. And then that means he can like kill tech buildings with impunity. You need to like somehow kill him or block him from getting past your patrol zone. He's a flyer and it's hard to do that. Okay, so you summoned a crash bomber. Crash and bomber. Drek, Ramhorn. Yeah. And Jaina. And Jaina. Heroes Hall, I can have two heroes. So let's see, Crash Bomber is one gold for 2-2? Two, two. Yeah, one gold for 2-2, two, two, and when he dies, I get to deal uh, extra one damage. So if he dies on my turn, I get to deal damage to any patroller building. If he dies on your turn, I get to deal one damage to your base. Cool. And then Drak has uh, some hasty stuff that he does. and Yeah, he has to be max level for that, though. Yeah, he also grants Frenzy to all of his units at mid-band. Frenzy is uh, when they attack, they get... Uh, or they get plus one attack on your turn, right? That's how that works. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so... I'm not fighting it. I'm just rushing to tech two. Yeah, get to tech two. Put put heroes in the in the slot. Teching anarchy. Yeah, it grabs anarchy for his tech two. So anarchy it, is so much fun. So at this point, um, when you go to tech two, you have to de designate which spec you're going. So now he can only use the tech two cards from the anarchy line, the the Zane part of his codex. He can't use Jaina and he can't use uh, Drax tech two cards. If he had a hero uh, tech lab, which is an add on, you could specify a second tech. Um, to then draw from uh, but for now he said he's going to go anarchy so me knowing that that's going to impact what tech decisions I make now definitely going to impact your decisions because anarchy has a lot of haste stuff and a lot of stealth stuff and yes. so I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a, a tower come out or something to try and deal with a lot of the stealth stuff that uh, anarchy has anarchy has um uh, disguised monkey who comes into play two cost three three with stealth chameleon lizzo who four three with uh with stealth mm -hmm. and then like stuff like sanatorium marauder yeah like just no okay, so, redrew in the into the rampant yeah, growth. rampant growth and that's gonna make him a what a five six yeah five six uh so only needs to deal so deals four to jaina and then Splashes one damage over. Yeah, one goes to, I think. Let's see, what did I do here? Yeah, one to the, uh, to one, the Drak. One to Drac. Because then Midori, I believe, can finish Drac off with an attack. Yeah, Midori goes to mid band. Yeah, so I, I, I have Midori attack. I pay the gold first so that he has enough damage to actually do it. Because I have to raise him up to mid band where he's a 3 4. Drak has an ability on his top band. When Drak dies, um, you your deal one damage. One. Yeah, you deal one damage to the opponent's base. Yep, and when Crash Bomber dies, your base takes one. So there's yeah. a lot of there, there's a lot of stuff in Blood Tech that is just yeah. that just whittles down your base as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, Red can drop everything and try to just burn you out for the rest of it. Yep. So I get two levels. I got four levels that turn from killing Jaina and Drak. It's something that uh, LK had to do. Like I just, I had too much board, and he needed to, to put guys out there to make a decision. I, I attack with the centaur, and then I play Circle of Life on the centaur. So I sacrifice him now, um, after he swings, and I get get to cheat through my codex and grab another guy and put him in play. I think this time I might grab a Blooming Ancient. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Blooming Ancient. Blooming Ancient. Um, that's an interesting card. It's a 2-4, and whenever I bring a unit or hero into play, it gets a plus one, plus one rune that I can then move to uh, other There's the Tiger Cub. There's the, there's the one cost 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, so Tiger Cub is crazy value now that I have that maxed out Midori. So yeah, one gold for a 4-4. Four, four. So tech zero card, putting in work and being a really big body. Um, so that would put a plus one, plus one rune on him. And then I could move it to another unit if I'd like. And I believe I do. I think I make my, my Tiger Cub a 5-5. Five, five. And I put him in the uh, technician slot. Keep, yeah, that, keep that dude safe. That bomb doing work. Yeah, I can't squad lead, so... Even even though you would survive putting it in squad lead, still... I uh, thought about it. Still not willing to do it. I know I thought about it. So I fill up three gold, which makes me uh, nervous. Because <laughs> that's, uh, you know, just red things. Maybe that would have been a good turn to make a tower just to prevent the haste from destroying me. 12 gold for red. He has tech two oh, there's, now. there's pillage. Pillage. Steal two. And Crash Bomber's a pirate, so there's two gold and yeah. two damage goes to my base. So that was like a gain one gold, do two damage to your opponent. Remove two from their gold pile. Pretty good stuff. Gun More gunpoint taxman. 
and he brings out Zane. Oh yeah, I said you need to have Zane out to play pillage, so we'll just do that. Oh right yeah, there. yeah. Looks like you drew your Ember Sparks. Yeah, it looks again. like hand again is double Ember Sparks, and Jaina just died. Yeah, Ember Sparks is a Jaina spell. It's a deal three damage as you see fit to like pretty much whatever, right? Yep. Am yeah. I gonna worker the? Oh no, go to tech three. Straight to tech three. So floats four gold. He's gonna probably draw. T he's gonna draw as many cards as he can. Um, that tiger cub is huge. He can kill it if he levels up Zane and attacks with the crash bomber. Is that worth it though? I don't actually. You don't have to attack. You can attack with the crash bomber. So you're and deal three to the cub. So you're at tech one and I'm at tech three. Like I, I think I stall out here. I think I just block up. I see. Because what are you going to do if next turn I play a gunship? True. I mean, I have Midori, but he's he's uh, gunship has long range, so. Yep. Well, not when he defends. <laughs> but Midori's not going to kill the kill the tech three for anarchy, though, so. So Red successfully did some, some good rushdown stuff and also made it to tech three, which is the thing that, like, anarchy is a little bit... Anarchy is a little bit more of the uh, slow controlled chaos uh, than Blood is. Blood is more of an all-in offense spec. Although and Anarchy's tech three is incredible. Yeah. So <laughs> Let's see. I think you're deciding if you're going to play more stuff or if you're going to draw as many I, I think I'm deciding yeah. if I'm going to work her. I don't think I've worked yet. Yeah, because you do want to draw four. And you have a Crash Bomber and Technician, so that'll give you even more draw. Yeah. So you draw Dis four. Yep. Skip a worker, discard to draw four. And not technically skipping a worker, considering like you're at ten. Ten's a good number. Whoa. And, uh, Double detonate in hand. Ooh. Why did I attack two detonates? <laughs> it's green. I got buildings. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so let's see. I just give myself a lot of big gold, so I think he just kills the tax man. Uh, Midori can, can kill stuff without caring because uh, he's flying. He's flying, so he doesn't take the damage back. Your base takes one from the uh, from the crash bomber dying mm -hmm. though, and I get the card. Although I should have taken damage from tax man though. Maybe I didn't. Uh, you're flying. Tax man's anti air. So oh, like, you're uh, right. I think Midori attacked the other thing. He must have attacked crash bomber, and then the uh, the tiger cub attacked the tax man. Yeah. Then the uh, the blooming ancient killed Zane. And I have a ton of gold. So then I probably go tech two. And tech two will be balance. Um, the the wandering mimic that I got earlier is a balance card. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna actually need the tech building to play it. Um, when I I, uh, I use circle of life to cheat it in, but I'll need the uh, the thing. So I play a moment's peace. That's a Midori spell. It's um prevents me from attacking. Yeah, units can't attack for one turn. And I can't patrol anything either, which I have no guys to patrol anyway. But so it's a Midori spell. It's only two gold, and uh, Zane is dead. So like it doesn't affect heroes. So Zane can still attack, but Zane's gone. So this next turn doesn't matter what Ryan plays. Now, it's funny because I have nothing left in play, but because Red has so much haste, it still it still is it's still valuable. valid. Yeah, it's, I still had to do it because notably also I have no uh, patrol zone. So Midori is sitting there. He has five health. Gain ten. So I start turn with fifteen. Yes, Midori has five health, and that means oh, there that we go, Marauder. I have two detonates and a Marauder in my hand, just like all the worker destruction. Yeah, so Marauder des destroys a, a, my worker when it comes into play. Uh, you have to boost it, but yeah, you have to pay a three extra. Yeah, but still, that means that I have to play more. I have to make more workers. I have to tech more cards. It's oh, just... are you kidding me? The, the sharks in my. Uh, I have surprise attack in my hand. Zane just died. Like I'm drawing all of my spells right after the hero that can cast them is dead. Yep, detonate, detonate, and. Uh and surprise, surprise attack, attack yeah. yeah sharks and funny enough surprise attack actually wouldn't work because the moment's peace yep <laughs> drac so he's got to block stuff um but yeah if i hadn't played the uh, moment's peace that marauder could have come out and done like a bunch of damage to midori he might have been able to get a little bit more on him because midori only flies on my turn so now he's on the ground and he's he's able to be attacked and that's super important yeah, I think I workered one of those detonates. There's no reason I should have two in them. <laughs> yep, summon Jaina, summon Drac. Um, let's try to draw through some spells. Four gold floating. 
So let's see, maybe you just discard, is it one? Uh, it looks like two. Two. It's just trying to draw to that pirate gunship. Because I was able to bloat his discard a little bit, it slowed his tech time down, like, just enough. My goal now, though, um, knowing that that gunship is coming, is to get rid of that tech 3 building. If I can destroy the tech 3, um, it's... It's going to be maybe smooth sailing from there. Because he, he realizes that. He has to patrol those just to make sure. That's, oh, oh discarded three. three. Yeah, yeah, so you did get five. Marauder's also a pirate. Um, I get five and I have a technician. Yeah. So you must have the gunship now. If you're cycling your deck, you must have the gunship. Either that or I teched it a lot later than I think I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of gold goes to green. I got a maxed out Midori. Um, I have a Blooming Ancient, and I have a Tiger Cub that is really strong. It's a 5-5 five, five with 2 damage on it, so it's like a 5-3. No, it has 3 damage on it, I think. No, it's 2. I'm at tech 2 now, which means I can summon a second hero. If I choose to do so. Oh, I put... Put a 1-1 one, one counter on Midori. Yep, so now he's now, that... Now he does enough to destroy a tech building. Yeah, he's that dangerous 5-6 flyer now. Two gold brings out a Huntress, and that puts a plus one counter on the Blooming Ancient. Then I believe I'm going to Circle of Life said Huntress. Because the Marauder has haste. So, the, yeah, the Mimic steals Haste, Spark Shot, Overpower, Untargetable, and Flying, I believe is the uh, the suite of things that the, the Wandering Mimic copies. So the Wandering Mimic is now Haste and Flying. Haste and Flying, because Midori has Haste. But it's also um, Haste, yeah, and it arrives, so I gain another plus one token on the Ancient, and I can transfer those runes over to the Mimic. I do that so that I can make the Mimic a 5-6 flyer, or 5-5 five, five flyer. So now I'm able to destroy both of... Uh, oh, going down to zero cards, getting a surplus. Yeah, zero cards to buy... Let's see. Oh, do I do that? Maybe I don't do that. No, I bring out Argagarg. And the reason why is because Argagarg summons a Wisp. Um, and that's two units coming to play. So I should be putting two uh, plus one plus ones on... Uh, it's unit or hero, so... I should be getting two plus one plus ones on my, my Blooming Ancient that I can then spread to other units. Um, I move one counter over there, and then now that's a 5-5 five, five flyer. So I blow up two tech buildings in one turn. And this is going to severely cripple LK's hand. And it's it's I can do that because he played a guy with haste. And so that's what balance is about. It's about reciprocating your opponent's options and then utilizing them. Um, did I forget to give myself runes? I wonder. So Cub, Cub will attack, and he'll... I think he doesn't die to Jaina. Yeah, he just has four damage on him now. He's like a five attack with one health. I pay a couple more gold um, to max Argagarg out, and then at his max band, he gets a 3-3 three, three water elemental with uh, anti-air. Again, we need those tokens, guys. Yep. <laughs> tokens. And then two more gold buys me a... I think I get a Hero's Hall. Yeah, so I get a Hero's Hall, so now I can have all three heroes out in play if I need. And yeah, I totally forgot to put the two plus ones on my Blooming Ancient from summoning Arg... You should actually have three because I just put a, uh, a water elemental into play. Yeah, and I paid the gold anyway because I wanted So let's see, do I... Um, and, uh, block the blocker. Yep. And yeah, it lives. Um, but I, yeah, I, I think I missed a bunch of... A bunch of 1-1 one, one counters. Yeah, like three of them. Like that's not even... Yeah, wow. That's my trashed worker up there in the top corner. So Zane's alive. Um, Zane's alive. Marauder's alive. Yeah, I didn't kill his technician. I'm just blocking with tokens because I want to just keep my other guys healthy. Rebuild the tech two. Yep. Um, notably, he has to do the tech two, then the tech three. Um, he can't do both in one go. So I stalled him. I have a lot. a lot of gold, though. Yeah. This is 16 gold. Clearly, I need to get better about spending it. Zane, let's see. Are we hasting the taxman again? It's a way to kill that water elemental for sure. So, wait, what 
pay four sharks. Okay, surprise attack. Surprise attack. Uh, I'm using uh, these little dice because I don't actually. I, we're, 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 seriously, guys, we need the tokens. <laughs> so more stretch more, goals. Come lot, on. Lots of tokens in this game, um, and they're really cool. Like this one is summon two sharks that are three one with haste yep. and, and ephemeral, meaning they die at the end of the turn. So um, now he has two three ones that he's gonna crash into my uh, my patrol zone and kill both. I think uh, he's gonna use the shark on something else though. I think he's gonna go for my Midori. I'm for sure gonna pay to midband uh, Zane first before I kill. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yep. Before you kill the token to draw a card. Yeah. So now um, he'll draw. Yeah, he'll kill that. I'll, I'll draw a card, but so will he because of Zane midband. But now my patrol zone is empty and my Midori is on the ground and has six health and he's got one shark and one marauder that I think can attack unless yeah. you have the it's, charge. Instead of max banding, he's only going to mid band. Yeah. That way, when the Midori kill happens, um, Zane will gain levels. He takes two damage even from a Wisp because it has no abilities, so it gets plus two, plus two from Midori's mid band. Yep, and it's a two, three Wisp. Painful. Um, right now, my Tiger Cub has only one hit point left, so. Notably, I, th I think you're going to kill Midori now. Which also would kill the Tiger Cub. Yeah, because then my, my group will lose its global effect and uh, the Cub will, will die immediately. So I think that's the play. It's just I'm not sure. If so I've got, a, I've, I've got a Marauder and a Shark left, that, yeah. which is seven damage on the table. But you might also have Charge that you can make the Taxman do stuff now. Oh, yeah, which boosts it to 11 attack on the table. Yeah, maybe you should have just gone face. <laughs> it's no. hard to know. No, kill Midori, I think, is correct. Kill yeah. Midori is correct, yeah. Kill Midori. Uh, kill Midori, which uh, kills a Tiger Cub because he loses the buff. It's enough to kill. Yep. I think now you can charge and uh, take out. Pay one to uh, Max Band Zane. Yep. Removes the damage. Uh, let's see. I see nautical dog, charge, and pillage in there. You're definitely playing charge. I think you're you're gonna kill that uh, blooming ancient, which is funny because like the blooming ancient probably shouldn't have, shouldn't be dead. I think it would still have enough counters to survive from when I played those three guys. Nautical dog. Nautical dog. Oh, block up. Patrol it up. Yep. Play too many cards, you're gonna go down on cards, and it's gonna be hard. Uh, but the but the uh, the Midori threat is diffused, and that's the important part. Yeah, Midori is pretty dangerous. How much damage which means that uh, Wandering Mimic no longer has flying. Two right, unless so I can somehow play another flyer, which I don't uh, think I have access to. I do actually. Balance has a flyer in the Tech One, but it's going to be hard for me to get that in my hand like now. Um, the other option that Red can use to take care of Midori, um, Surprise Attack works really well because those sharks are good. But um, Jaina has a bunch of spells that work to just nail heroes with damage. Like Flame Arrow is just four. Oh, I'm charging the uh, charging the Nautical Dog. Nautical Dog will do three damage. Yeah, it might not have been able to kill that, but hey, who cares? It's yeah. <laughs> Misplays. It's all right. Misplays. Training videos. It's fine. Yeah, Nautical Dog, uh, the 1-1 one -one with Frenzy 1 um, gains... Haste and another plus one attack, so it's like a three one for pretty cheap. Um, discarded three, you went to five, right? Uh, Taxman dies to the mimic. I don't know why he's in the uh, the squad leader spot. Seems like uh, scavenger or technician is correct, because he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, the mimic's a five five. Yeah. yeah. Even with the elite damage, it's not enough to trade. Okay, I think I'm still deciding my tech options here. I think um, because of that Marauder that you used, you killed one of my workers, and it's been really hard for me to get the tenth worker in. Yeah, so you still uh, you still haven't uh, you still have to attack. Yeah, I still have to keep on putting like putting cards in my discard pile, and I cannot make my. Uh, there we go. So here comes my tenth worker. I'm deciding which one I want to use. Um, and then I'm gonna go for tech three and balance. Looks like you're workering the moment's piece. Yeah, I I don't think I need it anymore. It's a good card, but I think that was the right call based on what I had in my hand. Pay five for the tech three. Yeah, sometimes you have to work with things that you're not really happy with, because um, you got to play a centaur. And the other thing in my hand is also valuable. So, 
The Mimic is a 5-5 with Overpower now because I played the Centaur. So he steals the Overpower from Centaur, and that's going to be enough to... To deal one extra to Zane? Yeah. But Argarg is an ability too, and I'm going to tap Arg to give... Um, it's his mid-band. It's give plus one attack, plus one armor to a unit. So now that Mimic is a 6-6, six, six, and it needs to do four damage to kill the... Uh, Attacks man, and I think I've splashed two damage off to Zane. Is that what I do here? That seems right. Because you'll survive it too. Yep. Yeah. Kill the tax man. Splash two onto Zane. Yeah, and Zane will live through that, right? Yeah, he will. He's a four four. I think I'm deciding if I even care to do the the damage to the hero, because you can just level him. Oh, he's max band, right? No, he's max. Might as well do two. Maybe I'll get I'll sneak two in later with another overpower or something. Discarding one to draw only three. So it's one. Big discard pile now. The the removal of the one worker meant that I had to put in way too many cards. Um and I only have like three cards from my hand on the table. Yeah, card draw and co your your deck in codex is not normally very large, and so you get your draws pretty consistently, but mm -hmm. if you uh, if if you don't stop teching at ten workers and you just keep putting in more and more cards, it doesn't always go super. Yeah, well. you get a deck size of like twelve, which is huge. It's like like a twelve card deck is like massive in this game. Like you typically want to hover it around like five to seven. That's like the ideal. Come late game. So let's see, bunch of gold. Out comes Jaina. Here comes more sharks. sharks. So more sharks. Two, two three, three sh sharks, yeah. Um, notably, the centaur is four health, which is really nice. But Ember Sparks. It. Ember Sparks to deal three damage, so. Three damage divided as you like among uh, patrollers or buildings. Fuck. I'm pegging the base here, and I'm not sure why. I think you have another way of dealing with Mimic is why. Oh, no, it only hits patrollers. It only patrollers or buildings. It can't hit the Mimic. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was enough. Um, and you can play spells with the hero the turn they come out to. That's notable. So Steam tank. Steam tank. 3-6. Yeah, um, when attacking buildings, does what, four more? So does like yep. seven? Plus four when he attacks a building. Oh. Nice. So his job now is to destroy the patrol zone and then get the steam tank to start pounding on the base. So Mimic no longer has cool abilities to steal... Um, there's nothing in the game that's helping him out. He's just a simple 5-5 five, five with, I think, two points of damage on him. My wild guess is, like, from my reaction, you can tell what I have in my hand. And, and my hand is double pirate gunship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you I can... have two Tech 3s in my hand, and I can't play them this turn because I just rebuilt my Tech 3. Yeah, because that turn before when I was able to blow up both buildings, it slowed down his ability to get the tech three constructed so it was in construction. <laughs> I, I, i'm showing him that i have two and, tech and the sad thing is is because he killed my technician he drew the other one because zane's mid band says when you kill a technician or a scavenger you get the benefit too and if he hadn't killed my guy uh he wouldn't have drawn that card and that um, was that was the silly thing I, he, he would have just got it next turn and and then i use zane to kill argarg what should happen here like what should happen here is Zane attacks the Tech 3, and then the extra damage from Ember Sparks also damages the Tech 3, destroying the Tech 3. If I can't have my Tech 3s, he shouldn't have his Tech 3s. Yep. And unfortunately, he gets punished really, really hard for that mistake. I think that may have been why you didn't see it, um, was because you played the Ember Sparks early in the turn. And I'm going to pay a bunch of gold, and I'm going to summon a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, yeah, I wonder why I'm even questioning it i'll bring midori out because i can afford both yeah counting it out it's a lot of gold bam pays eight for t-rex t-rex is a 10 10 with overpower and resist two resist two is uh when you cast a spell at it you got to pay two more gold and he, when he arrives he destroys any two uh units workers or buildings yeah so <laughs> and so i immediately lose my uh my steam tank and i lose a worker and then the mimic will kill Jaina. Uh, see, this is this is what happens when you don't destroy tech buildings. Yep. So I got my I, I killed his. Uh, he couldn't play his gunship. He didn't kill mine. I played my T Rex. 
and I played Midori before I got the kills in the heroes so that I was able to um, him I... level him up. And what was notable too, the T-Rex is overpower, so my Mimic gained overpower and was able to uh, tap, kill Jaina, and then flood the last point of damage over to Zane and destroy Zane as well, giving Midori four levels and huge, huge swing of value. Yeah, I got... And now I got five cards from that, a T-Rex in the scavenger, or the, the technician slot. Midori is threatening to become a flyer next turn again. It's just bad news for Red That's, right that's so terrible. Always destroy the tech three building. Yeah. Unless you can get the base. That's another way to do it. Uh, Argagarg was not really a big threat. That's so awful. Argagarg is best when he's buffing up his teammates. Um, and on a big board, he can play stuff. Uh, like Dino Size is a, is a buff that you, you make a unit much, much bigger. Like plus six, plus six. Um, yeah, now I'm just... I, I, I have to play units. He just has to block as hard as he can. Is that the Rambat? No, it's a... Those are uh, Detonates. Yeah, what's that That card there? Is that the... Uh... So that's Crash Bomber, Steam Tank, and uh, Gunpoint, Gunpoint Taxman. Taxman. And then Drac just to... Yeah, I think we're going to see some Scav Tech here. Yeah. Scavenger Technician is what you do when you need to uh, get value, but... I think he wants to make sure that my T-Rex attacks first by putting the largest unit in the squad lead. T-Rex is a 10-10 with overpower. <laughs> he is a game ender. And three gold left. Three gold left. What am I going to do? Detonate? No, I, I need to... I, I got to draw that gunship. <laughs> yeah. No, discard the two, draw four. Get that gunship. Yeah, but will the Tech 3 survive one more turn? He's got a Gunpoint Taxman. So the anti-air on the Gunpoint Taxman means that if Midori flies over, he's going to shoot Midori. And he's going to shoot him for 4, which is big because he's in the elite spot. Um, but I think I... I, just, I, I think the T-Rex has enough to splash over. Yeah, I think T-Rex just kills the Steam Tank and overpowers to the Gunpoint Taxman before that happens. And then Midori does Midori things. Um, 10 gold... And I think Arg is ready to come out again. I made changes there. Um, four, four gold for Mimic, and Mimic has Mimic does not have haste. Does not have haste because there's no haste on red side of the board. Green doesn't have any haste. Um, what at all in the whole codex? There's no haste at all in green. That's kind of a you know flavor thing. Like green just makes big guys that if they had haste, they'd be pretty crazy. And so Wandering Mimic is the only way to gain it. But um, Midori will max out. Um, gives the Mimic flying, but it's not really important. I play Circle of Life on the... No, you're, uh, it's Force Favor. Puts a one Oh, that's Force Favor. Yeah, so now I have the... Now you now you can destroy the Tech 3 building again. Yes. But but before I do that, I don't want to get hit by the Taxman. So I think I need to attack with T-Rex first. So that Mimic still has overpower, but T-Rex needs to clear out the big taunt guy in the squad lead. Uh, Mimic has flying. Mimic could just attack the Taxman. That's true. Uh, Mimic Mimic could kill a tech building as well. Play yeah. a cup for one. One for four, four. Play a giant panda. Um, that's a cardio insignia. It's tech one for, for growth. And yeah, it's, uh, it's like T a... Rex attacks and splashes over to the Taxman. Yep, those both will kill Tech One and Tech Three and Tech Two, and uh, that may just be it. That's just way too much uh, Tech pressure. His hand is probably just spells and Tech Twos and Threes at this point. Oh man, I bet I have a gunship in that hand. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, that's so awful. So the Wandering Mimic with the plus one token is now a flyer because Midori is a flyer and is able to block or able to kill the tech building. There's a gunship. You just wanted to show it. Couldn't play it. This and might be a scoop. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is it. This yeah, is that's, that's it. Yep. All right, calling it. So green wins this one. Uh, just kind of going over some stuff. But yeah, just careful surgical strikes on the, uh, the on tech, tech three buildings. Yep. And red fails to do the same, and the uh, the T Rex just cuts the steam tank down immediately, and red may have been able to hang out uh, a little bit longer with this one, but so notably green, I played some interesting circle of life stuff to bring out wandering mimics and steal haste from my opponent. 
Um, Red played a lot of surprise attack, the, the sharks. Um, did some good value plays by using gunpoint tax man to kill stuff. He didn't get to steal much gold, but it made me play inefficiently. Um, just uh, charge on uh, on gunpoint taxman happened quite a lot. Yep. So um, I think what Red's going to realize here is maybe he texted a little bit too heavy in terms of spells. Um, the detonates didn't really even get played. Um, detonates are like destroy a worker or a building for the opponent. Um, he was I think he was he was thinking about going like a heavy worker destruction tactic with detonate and marauder, but it didn't quite plan pan out the way that he wanted. Um, I made it to tech three, played a T Rex, and that was it. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, we're going to probably do another one right after this. So uh, look in the comments for a link to that. Um, go ahead and check out Codex Card Time Strategy on Kickstarter. Um, help us get those stretch goals so we can get really nice looking tokens for these wisps, um, sharks, and uh, what else? Did we Water play? elemental. Water elemental, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, check the game out. This was the uh, three versus three, red versus green core set of uh, Moss Sentinels versus Blood Onyx. So Thanks for checking it out.